Pete Davidson, he's striking back. Or Skeet Davidson, whatever. But you know what I don't understand? Everybody is sticking to the, oh, Pete actually finally came out and said something in defense. You know, like, I'm in bed with your wife. Uh. Mm -hmm. And that's the moment that everybody's sticking to. Why didn't they, or why are they not sticking to the tail end of the text message chain where he's like, hey, I got help. It works. I think you should do the same. Let's meet up. Let's talk. I mean, there was some parts in the text where it was like some mono mono shit, some one on one shit. But he essentially was saying like, hey, man, I'm willing to help you. By the way, I'm stopping a lot of comedians and other public figures from insulting you because I don't want your wife's kids out here looking crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like he said a couple of real things in there. I don't hear anyone talking about that. So as much as he did strike back, he's also doing I guess uh, is responsible the, the right way to, to say this, but he's doing the right thing. You know what I mean? Because he has to consider Kim. He's got to consider right. Kim's kids and all this. It's funny when I saw the, 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 the screenshots of the text messages, cause I always pay attention to details when it comes to these type of things. Cause like they, they can be so easily faked. Right. And it's not hard for media to just start pushing a fake narrative. So the first thing that I noticed when I looked at the top is that the name up there, it says it says gay, but then there's the number two beside it. Like, right. like is this this is 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 this which means it's from Pete's phone, first of all, because if it was Ye's phone, it wouldn't say his name at the top of the text message. Right. Right. right so right. why would he save him as yay too? Do you think he feels like this is the second version of Kanye or like why yay too? It's just. It was, that was very confusing to me. Yeah, that's, a, that's actually a pretty good call out, right? It there. was a small detail, but it yeah. was just something that I noticed. You know what I'm saying? So when I read the beginning of it, you know, it seemed like Pete was not really being aggressive, but kind of just standing firm in what he was saying. It did come off. Everybody's pushing it as like, oh, Pete Davidson's coming at Kanye. But I didn't see it as that. I saw it as him just being like, yo, we should just talk about this man to man, you know, uh, face to face and stop doing all this stuff. And then when it, it showed that Kanye invited him to Sunday service, his response was, I know what that's about. That's about publicity and cameras, which is true. That's exactly yeah. what that would have been. Yeah. It would not have been about Sunday service, about, about what it should have been about in the first place. So these statements are true. But still, I sat back and even the tail end part and all the news media reports this, I, I, I still don't know if this is true. But let's go on the, on the basis that it is true. OK, let's go on the basis that it is true. I applaud. I applaud Pete. For, for doing this. I applaud Pete for doing this. Do I think he would do this in real life? No, I don't. Cause I know about his personality and he's more of the type. Everybody said Pete Davidson is the type to just sit back and just chill. He was laughing from what I heard. He's laughing about the things that Kanye is doing. He finds it hilarious because he realizes that Kanye is a nut. And then all of a sudden these text messages come out, you know, who knows who released them. I doubt Pete Davidson gave his text messages to the news media though. That's all I'm saying. I heard they were leaked from some from from a writer or something like that from SNL. That's right. what I heard. Yeah, I heard they right. were leaked. Yeah. Maybe he showed it to somebody. Maybe the, he sent the screenshots to somebody else. That's 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 possible. Yeah. That yeah. is that is that is possible. But it is good that he stood up for himself at the end of the day, assuming this is true. Because listen, Kanye is gonna keep coming, is gonna keep coming, is gonna keep coming unless you say something to him. I think Kanye is one of those um the the little he's a he's a big dog in the game. But he has a chihuahua mentality. You oh, hundred percent, one hundred. Where he always feels like he's the little dog, and he has to bark the loudest in order to make an impression. So he, that, he needs uh, to realize that he's a bigger dog. He has that. He has that uh, Napoleon complex. Right. You know I mean, he one hundred percent has that. And and the the reality is, is I'm just waiting. I'm. We all know it's coming. We know what comedians do. They get all their source material from real life. So I'm just waiting. For for and apparently, Pete got some sort of a deal. Where I think it's like a TV series where it kind of narrates his life and what yeah. the f is going on in his life right now. So I'm <laughs> waiting. I'm waiting for Pete to say his piece. But does he say his piece? Because right. apparently he got a tat of Kim on him. So you know they made their relationship official on Instagram. So do you go and attack? Like I said, like, like Pete said in the text, I've been holding back out of respect for your mother's children. So go. All I know is it's eventually going to come out. Believe that. 
Right. Even, even, even with all that, the videos, rather the video of North on TikTok. Did you see the video? Yeah, there's been there's been multiple, but the one but everybody's the, the talking new one, about yeah, is the, the new one. Is the emo one. I'm in love with an emo girl. Yeah. What do you think is Kanye's gripe with this? You know what's funny is when we spoke on this before, I spoke towards Kanye kind of just like using this and there was really nothing wrong with it and blah 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 blah. And then to be honest, when I when I when I saw this, I understood what you Kanye's did. problem okay, is. Tell yeah, me I understood because I don't understood know. big time what, what Kanye's problem is. Social media, like North is already influenced by the world because of who her parents are, right? But social media has a real power of influencing people into doing certain things, not necessarily for attention, but because they know that it will garner attention. Let's be completely 100% honest with ourselves, people. Anybody who is on TikTok, who posts on TikTok, is on there for attention. You're not on there to post so that nobody watches. You want the views and the likes. So once you become part of that world, you start engaging in what is necessary to sustain that level of, you know, that drug they call attention. You want to keep it coming, so you do whatever is necessary. And, and the fact that North is already doing this, and even though Kim was in the video, that doesn't change my opinion on anything, you know, because I I just didn't like the the I didn't like it. I didn't like the video well, that North specific. was doing. What did you not like about it? It was a little dark. It was a little dark for a, a girl her age. It's emo. Um, it was great, great. Okay, so when we were growing up. Emos were usually in 17, 18, 15. What I'm trying to say is they were older than than North, who are, I don't even know how old she is. What is she, like nine? No, I don't think she's nine. I maybe, don't know how old she maybe is. Maybe she is. Yeah, she's pretty young. Let's say I, 12. Let's look, say 12. Okay. Either way, she's she's super, super. How the how the how is she know she's emo already? That's how people are moving. That's influence. Come on now. Honestly, um, I think so just to speak to social media. Yeah, of course, there is a large group of people on social media that do things 100 percent for attention only. Period. They don't even hide it. Some people are also on social media just for freedom of expression. I like to write music. I like the podcast. That's how I get my my thoughts and, you know, vibes out there. Some people, before they get on social media and do a post, they literally plan it out. The same way that we look for articles or the same way that you take time and write music, they literally plan it out. So for some people, social media is also a form of expression. And let's just be honest. North does not have to try that hard to garner people's attention. She's Kim and Kanye's kid. She could just sit there. People, It's going to get easily 100,000 likes doing nothing. But also, I think Kanye's problem with this, uh, because his, his response in the video was he said something... Uh, I think he was alluding to TikTok taking advantage of North's presence. Because like I said, Kim and Kanye's kid, people are just going to go to her, go to her page and just, you know what I mean? And that promotes right. that TikTok brand. I'm not trying to say that Kim and Kanye are bigger than TikTok, but the reality is it's going to promote TikTok's brand even more. If you've never gone on TikTok before, but you're a fan of the Kardashians, you're on TikTok now because North is on it. So I feel like Kanye has an issue with that because and I only say that because he also mentioned something about Disney. You know what I mean? And we yeah, know, the Disney thing was a little weird. Yeah. So we know Kanye is about his business and taking control of his likeness and making sure that, you know, if there is a pie being divvied up and his likeness is the one that's kind of that kind of created the pie, he wants to make sure he gets the biggest slice. So I thought maybe that had something to do with it. But then when he started talking about, oh, you know, there's no such thing as 50, 50 percent. 50 50 custody it always leans more towards the woman the video was i'm in love with an emo girl kanye west does sunday service kanye west apparently is born again now not all christians some old school christians they don't favor that lifestyle too much talking about the same sex lifestyle the video i'm in love with an emo girl 
So maybe he had a problem with that. And when he talks about the 50-50 parenting, Kanye saying, I didn't like the video. I would have maybe not let her do that. Or if she did do it, okay, let's choose a different song. And some right. people could even hear, I'm not saying this is what Kanye said. I'm just saying I, this is what I think he was thinking. But let's just say Kanye said that. Let's just say he came out and said that I don't like that she was promoting same sexuality, same sexuality relationships. She's nine or 10. She's too young. He would get backlash from that. And that would just go more to his point. He's her father. Yeah. If that's what he if that's the audible he wants to call, he should be allowed to do. He's her dad. Right. You know what I mean? So I think there was that business thing and then that thing i could be totally off but yeah i kanye's issue kanye's issue really is that he feels deep within his heart that he has to make everything public for it to change i feel i feel that very deeply in my heart because a lot of these situations that he makes public he could have kept very private and probably dealt with it a lot quicker and a lot easier yeah but when you make it when you make these things public when you when you when you put it out there and you make videos of yourself and you do all these posts and all these things, that's when it ends up blowing up in your face because it gives people like us and other people their chance to chime in on it, which is going to twist it in whatever way the people want to twist it. And it's going to make make it look like it's worse. So people your, your point is never going to get across. No, even if like so Kanye might have had a good point. You're right. When you say that at the end of the day, I was never even thinking like that. But you're right. Kanye, at the end of the day, is this girl's father. So who is anybody to tell Kanye? It's like Kanye coming in and telling you how to raise your kid. Yeah. You can't do it. No. If Kanye feels like this about his daughter and he doesn't want his daughter to do that, well, damn, we lived in times way, way back when when the father said something, that's what everybody had to do. <laughs> right? Yeah. Obviously, we've moved past that. It's, we're, not, we're not living in Viking era anymore. You know, but we should still respect a father wanting to raise his own daughter. You know what I mean? So, and that was his other point. His other point was like, you guys don't promote family. You know what I mean? You guys don't promote family, but, but knowing that stop making your stuff public then Kanye. I know if you know know that, deal with the, deal with the stuff in private then man, and stop making it a public thing and then see what happens there. Like, yeah, I don't get it. He's, he said it at the beginning of all this. He, he wants to control his narrative in 2022. But here's the reality. Cares. I know, but here's the reality. That narrative or any narrative, any story, anything that has to do with Kim and Kanye and their children, any information we get has only been put out by him. It's all been response. If there's anything from the others, it's all been response. So if he would, to your point, just keep it privately, not only would it probably be resolved faster, we would have no idea what's going on. All we would right. know is that Kim is dating Pete Davidson, and that's it. Kanye could be fuming. What All this could be happening, but we wouldn't know about it, and people wouldn't be chiming in with their opinions. And Anybody could understand this This is why like I have sympathy for Kanye and I don't because even just a regular dude or or girl knows the more people you get involved in your relationship, the more mucky it gets. I'm not saying you can't get people's opinions, but damn the whole world. (laughs) <laughs> Kanye's trying to get the whole world on his side. Well, look, nigga, there's over 7 billion people in the world. Not all of them, even if you're just trying to get the men on your side, talking about, you know, I'm a father. Not every man is going to agree with you. So just deal with it in-house. That's the whole part of this that always blew my mind. He has some great right. points, but I don't know why you decided to take it to a public forum. It makes no sense. What narrative? You're the one who put the story out. Nobody said anything about this until you did. It's the craziest it thing to me, man. There it is. Um, there it yeah. is. Yeah. Um. I, I. I don't know what to say. Viewing public, what do you say? <laughs> TikTok is North too young to be on TikTok. Is this whole snowball, this yellow snowball, this pea stained snowball? Did Kanye West start this entire thing? And yes, I'm invested. I'm invested in this whole debacle. 
because it's nasty and kids are involved. So yeah. And I used to watch Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Wow. So sue me. There's now, a real reason. <laughs> and and I might get into their new one on on what is it? Uh they have a they got I, yo, they're back into it's on Hulu. It's yes, on, Hulu. on Hulu. I knew they it's weren't leaving. Might get into that too. All right. Leave it in the comments. Don't forget <laughs> to like and subscribe. All right, dude.